one, we're going to find the area of the region that lies inside both curves. We have a limnant skate and a circle. I just did a quick sketch. Uh, it's probably better if you do this in uh, the calculator so we can find our limits of integration. Um, to find the intersection here, right there, let me do a different color. So right here, uh, you're going to set these equal to each other. So you have 2 sine of 2 theta equals, and since this is r squared, just square this piece. This will be 1 squared. All right, so you just square this piece too. Just square that. All right. So solving, you're going to get sine of 2 theta equals 1 half. So we want this uh, to be uh, something where you get 1 half. So we know that uh, we're going to have 2 theta. Uh, if this was our theta, then this would equal 5 pi. Um, pi divided by 6. Or... 5 pi divided by 6. So you divide by 2, you're going to get pi divided by 12, or um, 5 pi divided by 12. I only want to look in quadrant 1. <coughs> so um, this is the intersection here at pi divided by 12. There's symmetry here going on at pi divided by 4. So to do our integration, we're going to look at, for the limit skate, we have this part right here. We need this area here. And then we also have this area. But I'm only going to take half of this because this is symmetric. So I'm only going to take half of this and then multiply it by 4. So for our limit skate, we're going to go from 0 to uh, pi divided by 12. All right, because then we're going from 0 to pi divided by 12. We're looking at this part. And for our circle, we're going to go from um, pi divided by 4 now let's do pi divided by 12 to pi divided by 4. So here you're looking at this part right here. All right, and then we're going to add them up together, and then we're going to have to multiply. So let's look and see what we get. We're going to take uh, the area, and this is going to be, we're going to multiply everything by 4, because we have 4 pieces there. And this is going to be the integral from 0 to pi divided by 12 of uh, 1 half times 2 sine of 2 theta. Because this is already r squared. So we don't have to square it. So that's going to be d theta plus the integral from pi divided by 12. This should be a 12. Uh, to pi divided by 4 of 1 half of 1 squared d theta. All right, so this is going to give us, if you integrate this part, um, you multiply these two, this is going to be 2. You integrate this, you're going to get um, cosine of 2 theta, but it's going to be negative. And we want to evaluate this from 0 to pi divided by 12. And then for this piece, we're going to get um, 2 theta. And we're evaluating this from pi divided by 4. This was all times 4, so I just took uh, uh, half of 4 is 2. So there's where the 2 is coming from, to uh, pi divided by 12. All right, so simplifying this, we're going to get negative 2 and then uh, for this piece, we're going to get square root of 3 divided by 2. Then we're going to get minus 1. And then for this piece, uh, in the 0, 
the zero gives us the minus one. Now for this piece, we're going to get plus two times uh, one fourth of pi minus one um, twelfth of pi. All right, so these twos cancel. We're going to get <coughs> this equals 2 minus square root of 3 plus pi divided by 3. You just add these up. You get the same common denominator, and you'll get your pi divided by 3. Um, we're, basically, the common denominator is 12, so this is going to be 3 pi minus um, pi, and that gives you um, 2 pi divided by 12, which is pi divided by 6, but then you have this 2. So that's your final answer. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>